We're the Tank Blitz, Armour Pants here. How's it going? Got another tank review for you. This is the AM, AMX M4 uh, Mio 49 or AMX en 4 Mio 449. Uh, as they say in France, if we were in France, but I'm not. I'm sitting at home. Anyways, my story. Uh, to be honest, which is, this is it, the shop there now in all its glory, 12,500 gold, which is about. Poof, 35, 35, 40 euro, something like that. So it's pretty expensive, around 35 quid. To be honest with you, I'm fucking losing track of all these tanks in the shops. I can't fucking keep up with them in videos. These fucking war game lads are taking the piss these days, aren't they, from us? Like, fucking every day there's fucking something else for sale. And it's like the best thing ever, and get it, or you're going to regret it through fucking hell. You're going to regret this, getting this thing about as much as a dose of herpes, I can tell you. So, like, what about this tank? Well, I mean, there's nothing spectacular about it, to be honest with you. You know, it's French, apart from that, nothing interesting about it. You know, the inside of it probably smells of old cigarettes and expensive aftershave, like most things French. Um, but anyway, let's fucking do a review of anyway. Fucking hell. God. Right. Okay, let's go. So, what can we say about this tank? Well, it's a tier 8 uh, heavy tank. Um, it is... Um, an interesting tank insofar it has brilliant front armour and brilliant uh, turret armour in the front and then fuck all at the sides and back you know so basically it's a, it's a one trick pony really you know it has a decent rate of fire uh, reloads 8.2 seconds it has a 100 millimeter uh, gun on it so it can it's got decent pen numbers for a gun of that size and decent dpm numbers However, it's a one-trick pony. If you if you get flanked or you're on the side, you're just going to get smashed. You can't side scrape in it, so forget about it. If you don't have to side scrape, even better. You're, that's a skill you're not going to need with this tank. So basically, uh, I'd recommend it's a hold down monster. I mean, the turret on it is fucking amazing. Um, and if you can get the enemy in front of you, you're going to do well. Um, but apart from that, um, you know, it's relatively mobile. It's 40 kil kilometers and um, moving forward, 15 backwards. It's okay over different map terrain and that, but it is really kind of from my mind a one-trick pony, right? So basically, you got to get in front of the enemy, and if you can get hull down, so just have your turret sticking up. If you have the turret sticking up, you will bounce shots, um, and the tank the tank will uh, perform very well with that uh, with that skill set in mind and following those tactics. You can see here in the back. You're going to take multiple Freddie Mercury rounds, deliverance rounds, even the Leo rounds, set your arse on fire. And if you take more than one, your arse is going to end up looking at the Japanese flag, you know, or the Macedonian flag. One of those flags with a big red hole in the middle of it. So here you can see front on, it's a beast. Um, if you're top tier, you can really bully in this tank. You can go front line, intimidate the enemy because they'll find it very, very difficult to pen you. Um, if you're up tiered, you need to stay back a bit, uh, try to get hull down and try to protect your flanks and your arsehole. Um, I mean, that's a general rule of life, really. You really need to protect your arsehole, don't you? I mean, you know, that's why you, that's one of the things I worry about going to prison. There wouldn't be so much being locked up because, to be honest with you, being outside isn't all that great these days. But, you know, it's your arsehole you have to worry about, isn't it? You know, like when you drop the soap of the shower, having to kick it out before you pick it up and all that, you know? So, anyways, let's go and have a look at the game here now. A bit of tank playing. I got the old World Cup camo on her there because we saw it. Why not, you know? France World the World Cup, so fair play to them, you know. Elle est le bleu, as they say in France. Les bleus en marche. So, uh, so, let's, so let's go. Let's, uh, let's marche, as they say. So, um... This map is actually pretty good for this tank because there's a lot of hills, so you can get hull down in it. So what I decide to do is, as I'm top tier, I'm going to go down the center, see if I can spot or see if I can at least uh, get into a um, hull down position. The tank has 10 degrees of gun depression, which makes uh, utilizing, which is good for a heavy tank, which makes utilizing the turret armor a little bit easier. So if you uh, top the bows of hills, uh, then you will uh, find it uh, relatively easy to get shots over. You see now when I look over here, I will be able to get shots on. Now this IS-3, he's spotted up, now he's gone to the right, he's pushed on to the right, um, and he gets isolated and he gets smashed, so we're going to take him out. I don't think I do any damage on it, but um, yeah, he's uh, he gets he gets hit. Um, I'm trying to, I've been spotted now, so I'm trying to make sure I just show my uh, turret if possible. Um, utilizing that hill, using the angles on it just to make sure that if anything's sticking out it's just my turret 
um, you know unlike in real life when you don't want your head sticking out in this tank that's what you just need to be sticking out with your head uh, I'm gonna have a look in here now see if I can uh, help these guys with the IS or see what's going on I don't know if the IS has any support or not now the IS is gone now so let's have a look see what's around the corner now shall we um, now despite my own advice um, I am not hold down um, so I'm actually sticking um, actually on peak boom here which is and this tank is it's not recommended for it I'm spotted up now so I'm going to reset camo and see if I can get another shot in that Helsing um, by the way this Helsing is a very good player and actually does a great job for his team um, even though he's lower tier he think he finishes second in this um, not much point in me see here now I tried to see if I can side scrape kind of um, just get tracked but I was lucky there because um, as I said it's not a tank you'd recommend for side scraping uh, now uh, one other thing about this tank is it, it's gun is pretty good it's 100 millimeters um, 100 millimeter cannon but here's the thing right it has a tow well, even without calibrated shells um, it has a thousand uh, meters per second muzzle velocity so what does that mean that means that it's good for snapshots and that means that um, it is uh, good for uh, firing long distances um, its dispersion is not bad for a heavy tank its aiming time is good for a heavy tank and um, so you can do snapshots in it and the good thing about that muzzle velocity is that you are going to be able to um, smash shots in um, uh, he just turned there at the wrong moment and once he has his turret face he just forgot a chance of penetrating him to be honest with you KV4 and that's the first bit of damage you've done all game I think so at least I'm back in the game now yep at least you're doing something there now gave him a nice fucking um, Vindaloo round there and uh, no, actually that was a Stephen Hawking round wasn't it because he left his arse hole like a black hole so uh, now get a snapshot in here onto the uh, nice shot here into the um, T-34 the Falcon take me time actually snap in the end just took me time put it into the lower plate he misses one on me now you see I have much better reload than him see if we can get another one into him but nah, I'm not gonna waste a shot on him because he's um he got his, uh, got his armor in he took he took this, he took this lip in there boy as they said I said maybe it was far scoop isn't it so oh he's got me there now can I another shot on him nope now uh, this game um sort of gets away from us here a bit um we lose the tank and now we're tank down um, so I'm coming over here I want to try to take out this T-34 because um, he has his weir on a crossfire here the other tanks so I'm getting a shot on him here one right into the turret that's a good shot as you again you see the gun is reliable and um, it's more accurate than let's say Russian guns obviously not as good as a German gun but then um, German guns are the best in the game um, now uh, this is what I mean about the muzzle velocity look at this see um, just I did take one but just I was able to snap that off very quickly um, didn't take a full alpha roll then on the T-34 and now we're back in business right still a tank down now we're going to come to help this is3 and um, you got a friend he does have a friend that's me that's or in this case i'm his ami i got double smashed there with a fucking helsing i told you he's a good player but while he's on a reload i'm going to put one more into that and then that enables um my is3 mate to take him out um now the Helsing now comes on, he's going to try to take out that IS-3 before um, I see now that's a good play from the Helsing, if you wiggle that about it gets great ar angular uh, armor, uh, angles on the armor there but um, uh, he just got stuck there between the rock, literally between the rock and a hard place and got fucked didn't he, yeah he got fucking smashed there he fucking Freddie Mercury around straight into the arse hole and that's the end of him so also Stephen Hawking just asking this guy to wait because I don't know what um, hit points that ISU has and we're a one shot we're both a one shot for him so I'd like to know where he is and I'd like to know um, what his hit points are before we start fucking around and going out into the open um, so um, if we just hang around here we just want him to pop up um, and hopefully he will because he's running out of time too if he's on full hit points he'd probably come after us and here we see so he's a one shot for us which is great and um, I was it was, I was thinking that he might be, um, he'd have full HP, in which case it would uh, be difficult because the ISU was mobile um, and um, uh, he could one shot both of us. So even though there's two of us, he would still have kind of an advantage over us, especially with his view range, etc. However, he's here, so we're on both sides, and then the ISU takes, uh, sorry, the IS3 takes him out, so it was a good game for it all. Uh, so there you see some of the some of the gameplay of the tank and um, going hold down sticking the turret up using that gun with its high muzzle velocity using the reload 
um, and you can do some you can do some nice damage 2.6k damage there finished um, top so when I compliment that IS3 he was a good player and uh, I think I'll compliment too to the T24 Falcon and the Helsing I think they were good 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 opponents and it was a good game all around so there you go so anyway um that's the tank itself. Um, is it worth that much money? No, there's nothing particularly spectacular about it. There's nothing amazing about it. Um, it's very similar to other tanks, to be honest with you. Um, and if you if you want a tank with that sort of reload, with good turret armor, etc., et but it's cheaper and a better credit earner, I'd buy the low or the Luva, which is the line in German. There you go, lads. So uh, and girls, hope you enjoyed it, and all that you know. And um, yeah, so greetings from Turkey. I'm uh, here uh, just for a couple of days in business. So I'm staying in a, in a holiday resort, and um, my main my main objective for the whole couple of days is to avoid aquaerobics. All right, cheers. Take it easy now. See you now, boys. Boys.